Hello all, welcome to Keisha's Gospel and Truth. In this video, I will be talking about, well, I will be talking about The Bachelor, featuring Matt James. And what is the network's agenda? Why the low ratings? Why I may just stop watching? Okay, as I began watching this, I was infatuated with the sexy Matt James. His lips, his eyes, body, and more. But as I got to watching it, I was beginning not to like it or him. Because, well, well, first of all, you all should know the backstory of Matt James. Matt James was born on December 5th, 1991. Yes, he's young, or he's seemingly a little naive when it comes to women. Heck, he's only 29 years old. He was born and raised in North Carolina to Manny and Patty James. His father, who's black, left his mother when he was just a child, so he was raised by his mother. He graduated from Sanderson High School in 2010 and later obtained his bachelor's degree in economics from Wake Forest University in 2015, where he was a wide receiver for Wake Forest Demon Deacons football team from 2011 to 2014. While there, he became friends with Tyler Cameron, who is an American television personality and model. He later tried out for the Carolina Panthers and New Orleans Saints of the National Football League in May and in June of 2015, but wasn't unfortunately signed by either team. He later moved to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and worked for PNC Bank. Then he moved to New York, where he was roommates with his longtime friend Tyler. While there, he worked for CBRE Group, which is a commercial real estate company. He also started a nonprofit organization that educates, provides food and exercise for children in the low income communities. His friend Tyler Cameron, late mother, was the one who nominated Matt as a contestant on The Bachelor. Matt was originally casted aptly to be the contestant for season 16 of The Bachelorette, you know, starring Claire Crawley. But after filming was delayed due to the impacts of COVID-19 pandemic, he was later selected to be the next Bachelor for season 25 of The Bachelor, making him the first black Bachelor lead in the show's history, which is really sad, but there's more. Matt's ex-girlfriend Madison Nelson was once almost a contestant on the season. It seems that Madison Nelson and Matt dated in the summer of 2019 when Matt's best friend Tyler Cameron dated Gigi I.D. Oh yes, Gigi, okay? There's also photos of the four of them at a fashion show. They were only together for a couple of months though. It was so that some fans noticed that Madison was one of Matt's ex-girlfriends and they called the network. So ABC decided not to have her as a contestant on the show. You see, the contestant ranged from fashion designer Cynthia Rowley's 21-year-old daughter, Kit Kennett, Katie, the sex-positive slash vibrator TikToker, Brittany Galvin, the alleged escort, and the infamous Victoria Larson, the villain. With this lineup, it shows that he wasn't interested in anyone of black ancestry. Judging from how he felt Victoria lies and manipulation in a fake fancy spell from the perfect daughter, Sarah Trot, to her sick father, spoke vibes. It clearly showed that he doesn't have a lot of experience in the opposite sex. And with all of these women coming at him, he's like a little kid in a candy store. I mean, he was looking at these young, horny, desperate women like a good meal, okay? Oh, and the network heightened this for the ratings. They made these young, horny women in their 20s, which is a prime age for a young woman's sexual peak, and locked them in a big mansion all alone and all pining over Matt. Then asked them to write their sexual fantasies with Matt. You see where I'm going with this? Oh, I'm not done yet. The villain Victoria was obviously only kept on air for ratings. You see, you have to think like a producer. Hmm, let's see. This Victoria is good for ratings. We need to keep her on. Yeah, this is good. And then later, all you do is have a meeting with Matt and discuss these plans. I mean, he has to play along with the scheme, right? Which, in fact, he did. Furthermore, this will also help eliminate all who's stupid enough to fall for Victoria's bait. Besides, it's clear this horny dude isn't going to choose a sister. He's going to choose, and it's been leaked, a younger Kylie looking like Rachel Kirkconnell, a 24-year-old graphic designer from Coney, Georgia, who allegedly receives Matt's final rose. The sources leaked off this Rachel being the winner, allegedly leaked from her friends and family, oh yes. So this may be true. 
These sources also confirm that Michelle was the runner-up. So it's almost sure that Rachel is the ringer after receiving evidence that Matt's other two finalists were Bree and Michelle. Who doesn't win? You make the call. With that said, this is the reason why I became uninterested. A. He's in his 20s, too young, has a lot to learn. B. He's easily manipulated. C. The way he's all over those young ladies clearly shows he's more than likely going to cheat if tempted strong enough. I mean, damn, he's freaking only 29 years old. He's not ready to settle down. He's just a young, horny man enjoying himself. While it lasts, this marriage would not last. Just okay. Well, that's it. Let me know what you all think below. On that note, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Hit that bell so you get notifications when I do post more videos. Love you all. See you all later. Bye.